hello guys i hope you are fine and you are doing great um today i want to make a video about the post processing so cleaning the post processing data in the odb file uh, in the abacus a graphic user interface version and extracting high quality figures out of it so that we can directly use them in the reports or in the presentations and most importantly in research papers if we want to present them um, I realized that it is quite important and quite critical there are several parts associated to it and I learned it by doing it again and again and by getting repeated rejections or by um, getting feedback from people that they need certain things in the images and eventually I realized what what they are requiring and how to extract those pictures or images uh, from abacus and we will do that today so ignore uh, what a simulation model i have made and what results there are we will only focus about cleaning the post process data and extracting high quality figures so generally speaking if you look at this um, um, visualization so i have my model uh, where um, there is a sample and a punch has um, deformed the sample and eventually the punch deformed itself and there is this base um, in the simulation and when we look around then we have our um, uh, legend with uh, with the scale and color codings uh, below here we have uh, at what step this frame is and uh, several other information of deformation scale factor then we also have information regarding the time and date and version of abacus and um, whatnot um, then we also have um, a reference frame so x y and z um, uh, and we also have a rotation axis or something like that um, uh, which we use uh, now um, initially um, if i want to take some useful pictures out of it so basically i will always select a part which i want to take picture out of so let's say it is a complicated geometry um it it, it, it completely depends on you what you want to extract out of it but if it is an assembly like this what i would really want is if i would like to highlight this sample and the first thing i would do is i would remove rest of the um, the assembly parts from here how we can do this is we can go in output database v1 and then we have these instances i would remove base i would remove die um, i would remove the punch uh, and I would only keep this um, sample here so now you can see it now what I would like to do is I would like to make it as big as possible so this element is highly distorted it is going out of the window let's go back and see where we have sensible results okay at this frame um, uh, this is colored for Mises stresses uh, um, you can color it for anything you want um, now it is nicely sized on in in the whole window what I would also like to do is I would want to remove this text from here so what I would do for that is um, I would go in viewport viewport annotation options and remove compass which is this remove tree show tree i think it is this one i want to see the legend i want to remove the title block and i want to remove the state block and show text and arrows yes so we have removed rest of the things from the screen and the only thing left is uh, tree and legend and now when i go in the legend i can also change some settings for um, create so i can set at which position it is for buy from this but on the legend um what i can do is i want to increase the size so first thing i would do is i would increase the size so we can read it next thing what i would do is i want to change the um, units to engineering so it is easier to um, translate them into engineering decimal places i want to reduce decimal places to one so it becomes cleaner or what i can also do is i can use fixed 
which is doesn't look so good here so um, I want to make it engineering um, then there is transparent background and then the position of this um, it, it it it's it certainly depends on um, what you want to extract these images for and how you want to um, show them but just to give an idea of we can also change this I want to bring it here so close to our part so when we post process it we can just crop rest of this part here and we can have a nice picture here so what I would then do is um, in in the y direction I would bring it down to let's say 50 it is too low 70 yes quite in the middle 75 is good and then in X I would like to move it a, a bit closer so this line I, I want this line to be um, yeah so here hmm interesting okay so um, I have moved it here uh, then what I want to do is you can also change the bounding box and uh, uh, show legend title so if you want to show see this here or you want to remove it uh, show minimum maximum values will add let's show this so this will add this uh, um, option here I don't want to use that let's keep it like this then I want to go into options and contour so in these options basically what I can do is I can choose if it is continuous you can see how uh, this has now been divided into con continuous colors and this has also been graded continuously or I can choose to discrete and uh, yeah so then it basically makes sections and each section has a specific um, set of uh, this let's make it continuous and um, then what I would also like to do is I would like to change the limits so let's say um, I want to change the limit to a rounded figure I want to change it to 1.5 and the minimum value is what I want to change it to is minimum is 5 and apply and then we see that the values which are outside this are highlighted gray and it is mentioned here so then I want to increase this limit to add this and also increase this limit and then we'll add some gray areas to it okay uh, so from here you can basically change the limits and i can also tick these options to show the point of minimum and maxima or i can close them turn them off um, then there is another interesting option that is about uh, we use it from common and that is about these exterior edges and um, I want to change the basic because when I will export this picture the exterior edges will not be looking so good um, or I uh, what I can do is I can select this so it will just remove the mesh and just show me the exterior edges or I can select the free edges uh, option and it will only show me the free edges and the rest um, it will not show me the sections but let's say I want to choose feature edges then I can also select these kind of options and from here uh, in color and style I can choose the thickness of these edges so they can be extremely thick or they can be thin or they can be extremely thin um, what I want to do is let's say choose this so I want to clearly see the exterior edges and there are also certain styles to do that there are also different options of coloring them let's say choose this hmm then change um, edges in fill shape okay um, 
what I would also um, want to um, yeah so if um, if I want to for example when I want to show the mesh of the body and not the real uh, distribution of stress or strain inside then I would usually choose um, all edges and um, will select a style such that it is darker so not extremely thin like this but a bit darker so it is easier to visualize but now when I want to see the stress and strain distribution inside the body and the location that is better to choose um, feature edges so we can clearly look at it um, yeah then the interesting part come kicks in which is how to export this image in high quality so that we can uh, use it directly in our research papers or in presentations or in reports and the quality does not get distorted for this uh, uh, i have a hack which is basically i um, print um, this uh, view frame and i do this by selecting cute pdf writer it is a very nice application uh, you can uh, just google it and find it online cute pdf writer just quickly install it and then when you will want to select a printer it will come up in the options uh, here uh, i will select this and then i will select rest of the options accordingly so destination is printer but it is cute pdf writer um, then what we can do is we can um, choose i will choose landscape advanced and here i can set my dots per inch which can be up to 4000 which will be quite high i will choose 600 um, although normally the articles or reports require 300 dpi i will select okay and then in page setup i don't want to print it i don't want to print simulia i want to have fine quality um, and i don't want to have any margins okay and when i apply this it will basically send the command to this printer and uh, what it will do is um, after processing it it will pop up a window that where i want to save my pdf like this let's say i want to save it on my desktop and i want to name it um, test uh, print and i will save my pdf like this and um, as as long as you will keep this window open you will keep this abacus open you can just quickly um, glance through other options for example u magnitude because we have selected these limits manually therefore it is not changing but um, you can convert it to automatic and you can just quickly take out all the pictures so all the pictures will be same with similar um, uh, colors and uh, similar um, position of the sample and other things um, and just keep on applying and keep on printing then what I would like to do is I would like to go here so you can see that is the, the image has been exported if we zoom in we can see that um, the quality of the text is super high um, because it is 600 dpi and here um, you can see that the color transition is also quite good um, and then i have acrobat uh, adobe acrobat pro and with this i can directly um, save it as jpeg or png or tiff whatever i want um, uh, I want to for example save it as PNG I can save it and it will save this image as PNG it is this image which we can see is of quite high quality hmm? um, then I just directly use paint and crop this image quickly so like this and save it and then we can see that our image for 
using it in the report before using in the report is ready so this is how I export my um, images from Abacus for use in articles and reports I hope uh, you learned something new um, this is something which I was not able to control with um, other commands certainly there are many many other options available but this is the practice which I do to extract high quality photos from Abacus and yeah I hope you uh, learned something useful from it and uh, just write in comments if you need certain other helps and I can make I can make videos about them as well um, thank you for watching the video and happy simulating bye